night a rare dual diagnosis of tick diseases for one Tennessee man who says he is now battling both Rocky Mountain spotted fever and Lyme disease. News 2's Stephanie Langston talked to the victim as well as doctors about just how rare this diagnosis is. She has this story out of White House. Well, Don Murray Grubbs was hiking within the tree line here on his property in White House when he was bit, but it took nearly two weeks later before he realized something was wrong. I found a spot on my inner thigh and I thought, you know, it's an ingrown hair. What started small began to swell and around two weeks later. The rash had just gone totally crazy. I mean, I, I tell people it looked like the walking dead, legs from the walking dead. My, my calves and my ankles were totally covered. His doctor sent off his blood work. And my luck, it tested positive for Rocky Mountain spotted fever and Lyme. So I got a dual diagnosis. Doctors say it's a rare diagnosis as the two different diseases are caused by two different types of ticks. Said it's very rare. But doctors say it's even more rare that someone in Tennessee is diagnosed with Lyme disease as it's difficult to diagnose. Luckily, I caught both of them really early. So the prognosis for me is good, but a lot of folks with the Lyme disease, they, they have it and they carry it months, sometimes even years, and they never even know it. And then they've got chronic fatigue going on and all these symptoms. The Tennessee Department of Health reports an average of about two dozen Lyme disease cases a year across the state. Grubbs is on antibiotics and recovering, but is still suffering from fatigue and brain fog. The brain fog is, is what's really strange. It, it, it clouds your thoughts, you know, you, you feel like you're always in a, a haze, but that, that seems to be subsiding. He's just thankful the diseases were caught early on as Rocky Mountain spotted fever can be fatal. I've been healthy as a horse my whole life, and something that small can do that much damage. It's crazy. We'll talk about some of the steps he's taking now and what he encourages other people to do to keep from getting the diseases coming up on News 2 at 6. Reporting from White House, Stephanie Langston. News too. Now the bad news is we're expecting to have an abundance of ticks this season due to the mild winter. Doctors say it's important to be cautious even if you're just in your own yard.